Now, I want, I want to know something. How easy was it uh, to get this <laughs> ultimate <laughs> happen? You know, you, uh, I know we can't even get films to release nowadays in theaters. And you've got an entire theater here and we're watching a French film. This is a big deal. Can you hear me now? Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So it was not easy because uh, the problem was that there were a lot of uh, ideas culminating from the Indian market. There were other people trying to get the same festival into India. But somehow the Unifrance uh, team as well as the French embassy had uh, uh, a confidence in half ticket and they went ahead with half ticket. Well, there are lovely twosome sitting in front of me right now, the names that he's just taken. Christian Valerie Anne from Unifrance Films and applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. This is for the French Embassy. You have. And they've decided that Valerie will only speak. So, Valerie, uh, let's have you speak. So I'm very embarrassed that we are being, being thanked because we would like to thank you, Jagdish, for hosting this festival. Uh, just a few words about my French Film Festival, which is an event that Unifrance created five years ago. It's a new concept of a festival that's available everywhere for everyone because it's online. You don't have to be in a special place at a special moment. You can just watch your films from your home. But it's still a festival with new films, with new talents. And you, the viewer, you can vote for your favorite film. You can be part of the jury. There is a jury of filmmakers as well. But everyone is a jury. So we believe that that will make more people aware of French cinema, what is French cinema now. And we are so proud and so happy to be present in India for the first time this year, thanks to Jagdish and his courage, because it's very new, so who knows if it's going to work. So we are very thrilled and excited to see if the Indian audiences who love cinema will also love young French cinema. Well, so I think we've got a large audience already here today, so that's already uh, showing the love that we have for French cinema. So yeah. thank you so much for coming in. So much and I want to thank you everyone for having come to the screening I hope you like the film and if you like it please just let your friends know let everyone know on Twitter on Facebook everywhere because we really want to reach as many people as possible thank you so much thank you <laughs> yes please uh, could you take a seat no sir you stay on stage Fourth members not here You are different and we've got a little plug for you. Sir, thank you, sir. And this is also a <laughs> So congratulations on the last release. This is fantastic. And now that you are here as a jury member, and I did say that You've become one of those directors that people want to say, oh, it's really cool that I know him because he makes that kind of cinema. Uh, you've always treaded a different path. And, you know, so we, he's trying something new, Jagdish, as well. Uh, great to have you on board also. Something, you have the largest collection of, he, by the way, has the largest collection of foreign films, I think, in the history of mankind. So I'm sure you've seen a lot of French cinema as well, sir. Some uh, words of wisdom. No, I, I, I've been part of my French film festival earlier, but in France. And I was in the jury last year there in France. And I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for cinephiles and film buffs to have access to the films in their home, to have the entire festival in your own home. And this is something that I hope it catches on and it grows. Because the way we fight for screen space, trying to release our movies, and if we need platforms like this. And if this takes off, then we probably can leave our multiplex spaces to the big blockbusters and be 
happy making films and putting You know, I'm going to ask, put you on the spot there. How far do you think that we are from releasing a mainstream Bollywood film online? I think we're very close to it. Mainstream? Yeah. Like, you know, we're very far. Okay, your kind of movie online, yes, we are quite close to it. It'll happen soon. And within, I think, this year. Revenue generation still possible? Is it just... It is absolutely possible. The problem is, uh, we are a country that wants everything free. So outside India, revenue generation is possible. In India, it's kind of a difficult thing. People would still prefer to go and download the movie. So. As long as you make money. Uh, thank you. Just stay on stage. Uh, I'm going to call uh, the other jury member, uh, who's now almost as famous for his acting as he is for his direction. Uh, you know, beautiful film, Dancing Tomorrow, one of the most complete films ever made. Uh, Sahib. And some words from you also. Anurag had lots to say. Oh, I'm not as wise as Anurag is. So words of wisdom came from him. I would only like to say that uh, I think all of us, Ketan Sare, we, we filmmakers who are still outsiders and not really part of, though Anurag is now, <laughs> <laughs> we, we all grew up uh, uh, watching French films. Uh, we had a nice film club in Lava where I, where I grew up and I saw a lot of French cinema when I was young. I couldn't understand a thing. Uh, but later on, when I went to drama school and, you know, learned more about evolved art and aesthetics and cinema and theater, I could understand it then. And we saw, I mean, Godard, Truffaut, Louis Mal, Chabrol, all these great filmmakers. And I think... French cinema, why we like French cinema is because France still considers cinema as an art form. We Indians have stopped doing that. And now today, if we are part of this French film festival and as a jury member, I really feel proud. I really feel proud. Since you have mentioned uh, films being an art form and especially French films, uh, the next gentleman I do want to call on stage truly is an artist as far as cinema is concerned. And uh, perhaps was running against the tide far before your... The struggle is not unique for all three of them. It is shared by all. Sir. Uh, words of wisdom have all been spoken. Uh, the fact is that it's time to look beyond Bollywood and Hollywood to liberate ourselves from the tyranny of Bollywood and Hollywood. There is a cinema <laughs> enriching, exciting, vibrant cinema being made all around the world. And, uh, well, cinema was made to be, supposed to be a window to the world. That was supposed to be the beginning of globalization. And then in front of our window, we had two major skyscrapers, you know, glittering, glistening skyscrapers called Bollywood and Hollywood, which came up, blocking our view to the world. Uh, this is yet another window being opened up. And I hope it's exciting, vibrant window, which will, it's time we opened our minds and embraced the cinema of the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the videos on demand will be on www.halfticket.tv. You make sure you check that out. We won't take any much, uh, any more of your time, actually. We've got a film to show. And uh, yes, sir, something else? Uh, the title fascinated me, too. Uh, in my childhood, I had seen a film called Half Ticket. You know, one of, and I thought it was one of the finest comedies India made in that period. Kishore Kumar. Kishore Kumar's amazing, crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So, yeah, half ticket is a good title. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We'll do a little photo op before we open the screen for the, for the screening.
Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.